This shall be a ride. Come on, come all, here we go. I am obviously having technical issues with my iMac again, so I will have to be inventive. Wait for the flying monkeys to come in, because they're coming. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to tell you what, after tonight, is zero dark 30. There will be no public displays of my maneuvers because I am done. You all are going to have to do research, and those victims will be coming with me. And I have a plan. I'm going to go get my blanket because I'm going to make myself comfortable while you wait. Tap that screen, guys. Like that live. We are going to need it because the Internet's burning down tonight. There's my AirPod case. Been looking for you. I guess that was a good thing. Like it, like it, like it, because uh, it's a lot of things we're going to cover tonight. I am on YouTube. My YouTube channel, you can find my name. Misty Huffman on YouTube. I am on my RT Says What Facebook page. So if those of you who want to see screenshots, hey, guys, I am not going to be paying a lot of attention to TikTok comments because I need to deal with the streaming over here and navigating. So anything I need to be aware of, um, try to message me through Facebook. I'm going to try to keep this open on my other account. I, I usually shut the volume off on here because um, it gets interference that <clears throat> I don't you like to use a lot of Bluetooth and let me go get my throat drops. If I can never talk again, that would be great. This Michigan weather got me all jacked up. It's raining. It's snowing. It's cold. It's 78 and freaking tornado watches. And then, you know, we're back to thirties tonight. Like I want to go back to Alaska like yesterday. Big time. Okay, for starters, all gifts tonight are going to Lala because Missy decided to show up in her live today because Lala told the truth. And she went down the list because Lala's in the rankings. Missy decided to go down the damn list to all the creators underneath of her and throw gifts to move Lala out. So all gifts tonight are going to Lala. Me and Lala are going to coordinate that. I will send her a screenshot after my live of what we have achieved today. And I will be chucking it back at her to move her up, back up in the rankings. Okay. Honey, it's so hard to message. Can somebody message her? I have like the ADHD that they're making fun of me of and the, the, they were selling shirts over. Yeah, that part. Um, were being the key word there. I wonder where that went. But, uh. Yeah. Cute. So Lala is getting all of the gifts tonight and I'm going to go chuck them in every battle when it's double points and I'm going to move her ass up. Hey, Christy. Oh gosh. It's under Misty Huffman. This look up Misty Huffman. Am I asking? Can somebody, Oh honey, Diane, you're going to, you're going to find out why in just a second. Okay. Calm down. I'm just waiting on everybody to come over and I'm trying to set up over here. Um, because this is, why the hell is this so damn big? Fudge, do you zoom out? There we go. They have to pull up a few links. I was trying to get my hard drive. I got an eight terabyte hard drive that has to be plugged in. And if you, from an iMac, it just decides to not recognize the drop anymore. And then suddenly, two, three hours into whatever you're doing, it'll pop up after you've. I'm not getting pissed off over technology right now. Hey guys, um, uh, yeah, yeah, you are, baby, you are. You're. We're gonna go over the entire thing, okay, from beginning to what's happened now and what the problem is, because it, 
here's the problem. Not everybody lives on Ticker Talk, right? We all have lives. So we're only getting parts of the story. And the manipulation is strong with this one. Um, Trainhorn was arrested for doxing a veteran. She shared a DD-214 marriage license, um, the dog tags, and divorce decree online that contains social security numbers, personal identifying information. That video is in my feed. I've taken some of them down because I'm seriously, this is not what my platform is about. And it pisses me off that when I started digging that I realized it was this bad. And before I go any further, um, oh, Um, they've tried to paint me out to be a racist, number one, for mouthing over the words of a song. Okay. So I found out today that they were going to message Cash Kelly. First of all, Cash is in a federal prison in Philly, J6, and a 10 year old charge that he dealt with. And if you did any research on Cash, you would know the whole situation there. I'm not going to get into that because. You all pissed Erica off with your behavior, you little flying monkeys. So you go ahead and message her. That's all you have to look up. Just look up my name. I'm in Alaska. Like, it, if you narrow up my state on Facebook, it's under Misty Ice Queen Huffman. Um, but my RT says, what is my Facebook page that I'm streaming to? And then Misty Huffman on YouTube. You will find me. Trust me, there's a million fucking videos, I promise you. You will be like, hey, that's her. Um, and they were going to message cash and tell him that I was a racist and using his name. Okay. Number one, his wife, Erica is the same pasty ass white Midwest skin tone as I am. Cash is a mixture of everything. He's black Indian. I mean, everything he's got. And that's what makes cash. Awesome. And he is for people. Tap the screen, guys. Tap the shit out of it. Um, and they were going to message her. Erica's been going through a lot. So you, you, you internet bullies and flying monkeys are going to go harass a woman who is stressed the fuck out. She, quote, unquote, um, I'm ready now. I wish a mother effort would. I said, then swing, batter. Because this shit is costing kids their lives for money. After the other day, I don't give a fuck. She wasn't happy because Erica was in the comments that night that I was doing that street lights unity thing and you all came in and like buggered my life. Yeah, you go ahead and message her. Cash has got a million followers, you dumb. You were like, he wants nothing to do with this. Is the kind of shit that he's going to be interested in hearing about and taking down. Like, it's worth a visit to Philly before I go and have visitors. To tell him this story because he's going to be like, what? Hey, honey. I said, I'm going to read your message tonight about I wish a motherfucker would. So you... Erica's in control of Cash's accounts while he's in prison. He should be out like next July, hopefully at the latest, hopefully February. We're hoping would have been nice to be this summer, but our government. So how many of you were aware that? Who had a public fucking defender? So she comes on the internet with that whole uh I need to raise five I, I have to raise five thousand dollars. Here, let me just get into my ticker talk. Yeah. Let me just refresh your memory, okay? Um, I can prove the charges are false. I'm trying to raise money uh, for a lawyer that I have to pay on Monday. It had nothing to do with TikTok. Absolutely nothing to do with TikTok. Right. Phone call to the D DA's office today. Said otherwise. She had a public defender on the back. The reason it's taking so long, she had a court date. 
they had to postpone it due to all the evidence from that fundraiser. So for those of you who didn't realize that she had a fucking public defender and you just got scammed out of your mind, I suggest you give the Bandera County Sheriff's Department a call. And I'm going to put the phone number in the comments over on Facebook and YouTube for you with the sergeant's name to contact. Okay. Oh, wait, I think it was on that TikTok. Oh, where did I put it? Jesus. So much has happened. So much has happened. Yes, so that $5,000. So that means Missy, who has read all of things and knows that Tara and that battle was bullshit for her lawyer. That means she lied to you too. So I feel like a big asshole for standing up for her. Please tap the screen. I'm not happy. And you wonder why I came out here angry? I wasn't attacking children because now a 14 year old that is friends with her daughter is now harassing somebody who, in her own comments, not on a trans video, said, I look up to you. Told you so. This is a problem. She's a problem. She's a pathological fucking liar who scammed you all and who sold. Hang on. One thing at a time. All right. I'm putting this in the comments. Bandera County. Department. I believe this is the correct number. If not, reach out and I'll get it. I victim, can you message me the number? To make sure I have this on. Thank you, Tata Mom. Remember, everything goes to Lala tonight, guys. Before what Missy did to her today, everything goes to Lala. Fifteen hundred dollars total to both of them. Oh no, baby. Gators, no. This is what makes me angry. Honey, yeah. She's got a public defender. I'm not going to come out here and lie to you. There's so much evidence. It's not on the docket yet because they just they can't get through everything. And she is still out here creating more evidence. I'm going to put the number to the public defender's office up here so you all can confirm because I am done doing everybody's research. I think by now you know that I have come with the truth. I'm so I've had three and a half hours of sleep. I was like cleaning chimneys with my dad today, and then I found all this. Over in YouTube. I guess. Okay, so. Where are you? Right here. No, it's the CAD Public Defender's Office, Texas County. Which one did I go to? Let me just go to my internet history on my phone because it's easier. Of course I closed it. Oh, I need that one anyway. Worf, you're snoring. Bear with me, guys. I got all jacked up with that computer freaking doing Apple things. Just tap that screen. Tap that screen. Of course, I had to change my freaking password on Facebook. Always. This is always what happens.
reset but give me a minute this is so much fun um i'm trying to log in as myself thank you forgot password what are we doing here really okay hold on because i'm in messenger also <laughs> there's an app for that see i hate technology i do here it is. Okay. i just need the damn link this is like an abstract of my brain is these windows tabs i'm, I'm, I'm not kidding this is why i need to uh what i'm gonna do is create a google form over the weekend for everybody who has bullying going on. So that way, because it is so bad, guys, I even asked my dad if he had a dry erase board so I could draw for you all because you need to see like the flow map of my brain on how I'm trying to uh, deal with all of this because this is ridiculous. Where is that fucking link? Come on. Dear God, it was in here. There it is. Okay. Sorry. There's also one more site I want to look up so I can tie this whole picture in together. So just bear with me. Bear with me. Um, I'm going to show you how I do internet research. Okay, so the other day, oh, let me put that um, public defender's office in there. This is the county of Bandera phone number. I'm going to stick it in the in the box on StreamYard here, and it will go. Hey, Maddie, sorry guys, I'm like, Bleh. but my ADHD is so funny to people. Wait till you see what this little 14 year old friend of her daughter did with her little freaking video. Okay. Um. So this is the number to the prosecutors. Like, thank you, Tammy. Thank you. Remember, everything goes to Lala tonight, guys. Hype it up. Um, actually, it's, yeah, Sheriff's Department, everything. It's eight zero. yeah, either one of those numbers. Um, oh, okay. It showed up on YouTube. It's on my Facebook on the RT says what? Sorry, guys, I'm streaming to three different platforms over here, so I'm trying to read which one it made it to and which one it didn't. It's like my personal Facebook page might not be making it. Um, but it's on the RT says what and the YouTube. So that is for the process for the public defender's office. Excuse me. Call out for the public defender's office. You can verify your damn self, and then you can do a recording and you can put it on TikTok because I am tired of everything fucking TikToks about. Like when I open up my TikTok, I don't want to see her face. Um, I'm done with this shit. She lied to you about needing money for a lawyer. She lied to you about not being related to social media. She lied to you about it not being related to TikTok. Hang on, honey. Send me a personal message through the account that you usually message me in and I'll respond to you with it, okay? That'll be easier. Why don't we do that? If you can send it to me through Facebook or through text message, however you get a hold of me privately. Um, if I send it through TikTok, I don't think it'll go. I am so fucking tired. Look at me. If you go back and look at any of my platforms, I'm about educating and hyping people up. Like I want to build people like Lala up, especially after everything she went through would be to go down. Dirty heaven shirts made about her by train horn. From all shit that this woman has invented herself. She is so pathological at this point that she is addicted to that phone and the drama that she has created, that she has lied to you and scammed so much money. Thank you. See, H 
HMF mom, sorry, I don't have my damn bifocals on. The background drives me crazy. Tap the screen. Miss Keith, um, so far from what I understand, she's got another appointment coming up on the 13th, I think. Last I knew, like, I just gave up. I felt gave up. She lied to me about a lot of things. She said she's read all of Tara's messages. So that means if you have done all of these things and you are falling on that sword, and remember what she did to me, guys. I messaged her. She got on TikTok and said that I made threats to her. Um, people are pissed. Pissed. Told you the internet was going to fucking burn down. <laughs> I can't answer right now, guys. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's under Misty Huffman. It's at capital T E lowercase chick in the States. It's that stupid at symbol in the capital T H E. Just look up Misty Huffman, respiratory therapist on YouTube, and it usually looks like. Or, or you can find me on Facebook. I have an RT assessment Facebook page too. Um, this is ridiculous, guys. I am really sorry. I mean, I have been trying. There's a lot of information. Like Bandera County is in the woods, like backwoods. I thought Alaska was bad. We at least have court view that's pretty accurate enough today. They are so archaic on their paper. Like you saw me pull up my stuff on YouTube the other night from El Paso. Simple, right? Bandera County, not so much. It's like still paper charting with medical care. That's like all behind the times they are. Keep now what I'm gonna ask for you to do. Hey, um yeah, this is an 18 and up live. I'm trying to like maintain my composure and just bring you facts because I, I am tired. This woman has lied. She has a public defender. So she scammed a total of $5,000 off the internet, but she says that she didn't make that much. Grand larceny in the state of Texas is over $2,500. They have so much evidence. And you know what? You know where it's going to probably go? Right up the chain to the feds, because that was where fraud. Multiple state lines were crossed. You know what happened today? The CEO of Cash App was unalive. That's great. There was no attorney. Honey, she got a public defender. It's a public defender on file. It was confirmed by the DA's office. She never got a lawyer. She never retained one. That money. It's okay, honey. You're fine, baby. You're fine. She never retained an attorney with that money. So if you are still okay with that, that's fine, but the majority of people are not because it was to do with TikTok. She put the victim's information. There is never any reason that she would be corrupted by a very upset victim, which if my computer could ever. Maybe it's the damn. I figured out the problem. <laughs> Y'all are going to laugh. It helps if I plug like the big extension cord into the other one. Let the fun commence. <laughs> she sat there on live. In, like laughed at the victim with Garrett and told her to quit texting her husband on text video. I was, in the, I was in the live and Missy's like, are you sure you were reading her messages? I said, she sent them to Garrett. I watched his response and recorded it. I'm asking it's what I was doing in there. I, I, I wanted it documented because if it's not documented, it didn't happen, Missy. That's how we operate in medical care. Ask any healthcare worker like that live guys. If I am lagging, it's probably my dad's wonderful Wi-Fi because like the 5G, right? It's just so not fast at all. 
Alaska was much better with the 4G. I'll take that back any day. Yeah. So the Wi-Fi here gets really sketchy. So everything's looking good on the reporting. But yeah, see, there's a lot of veterans fully invested. Okay, so what I also have is fully invested veterans in the states that these creators who have done all this bullying and harassment. And that's why what after this, I need you guys to come find me at locals.com. It's an app in the app store. It's a positive creator environment. I will give you free subscription codes to my community, but I'm taking this private. We're going zero dark 30, tell them. Because we're coming up with a plan. But we're going to be working with law enforcement in the states where these creators are with our local veterans that you pissed off by involving children in this. So, Allie, if you're listening, this is what your mother did. And the veterans are not happy, especially in the state of Texas, which is a huge veteran state. Your friend, Maya. I'll direct the theatrics after because what I'm going to do is do this. We're going to process our emotions. I'm going to go outside and rage smoke for like 10, 15 minutes and we'll come back and everybody can deal with the, the, the truth bombs that I am dropping right now because the extent that this woman has caused with these dramas because what she has done, now she's using Miranda and Miranda's running out of fucking screenshots again trying to make yourself look good because you're Trainhorn today. Anybody believe for a second that Trainhorn don't know who RT is or my name? Because I sure got damn live videos of her wanting to hunt me down prior to me, you know. Thank you, Teresa. Remember, everything's going to La La guys. La 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 La. So just, let's, let's just support this shit out of her, okay? Um, they, uh, I'm just like, I, I am trying to wrap my mind around the extent of what has happened just by this one freaking shit. I'm still like flabbergasted and y'all have called me racist and all these names. And I'm mad for a lot of people whose voices like I can't, they are like supporting me for taking. Thank you, Sub Zico. Thank you. Um, thank you guys so much. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Teresa. Make sure I get everybody thanked here. I'm so sorry, guys. Like, if I don't say your name, it's just because I'm reading freaking comments everywhere. CR, well, I only blocked you on TikTok because of your emotional reactions and my private messages that you were not accepting. You were. I am tired. I am coming at this from multiple directions with a bigger agenda than this drama. This drama is pissing me off. So if you can handle your emotions, Yes. The answer is yes. But if I ever have any more like meltdowns in my private messages again, then the answer is no, because I can only, I am an empath. I absorb all that crap. No, it was the way you talked to me, lady. Would you like me to read the energy that, like, the energy that you came with in those messages when I explained to you that my mods got a lot of shit confused? And they're from different directions, so they don't know who's who. You weren't taking that for an answer, Ma. Sorry, that's the facts. And I was like, I'm done. I'm fucking tired. Look at my face. I've had three and a half hours of sleep. I'm not getting paid for this. I'm not doing this for clout and likes. I'm doing this for the people. So yes, if you can act like people who can control their emotions, then by all means, yes, because that's what I have pushed for on my platform for years. If anybody has done their research. Yes. This is why I am trying to keep everything calm tonight. I do not want chaos. We are going to behave ourselves in here, children, because this is my house. Gen X mama is not putting up with this shit. I'm not dealing with no reactions. You're going to learn to process your damn emotions. Hi, thanks, Sue. You're going to learn. Because what the hell did I do? Eat the paper? Um, this woman just scammed a lot of people and her lies go deep, guys. So you know that if this is what it culminated in because she was just asking you all for money. She just sold shirts with my face on it. You want to guess what's off of her website now? Let me uh, direct you. 
over here. So, or if you are snoring, you are snoring. So I'm gonna pop it up on stream here. Here, let me present share screen. Here we go. So remember, if she is on. public defender site I'm going to tell you right now she's lucky she oh right here hey Tara that's fraud that's your fundraiser shirt right what are you fundraising for thought it was a lawyer wonder how fast that shirt comes down too because that whack-a-mole one's gone but I want to show you all Yes, ma'am, I'm serious. Yes, ma'am, I'm serious. She's still got her Justice for Trainhorn shirt up. Justice? How about justice for all of those victims who are going to be filing receipts? You better get that cash app out there and start refunding some fucking money because, you know, you're still in trouble. That's why you're fraud. You scam. It's for commissary. Oh, my God, I'm dead. Oh, my God. Somebody love that girl. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes, commissary. commissary. I'm going to direct you to, um, let me see if I can get in here now that. So, yeah. That's her. And this is the domain age. This is Trainhorn Apparel. She started this website on the domain on 2 6 of 23. Um, so it's not even a month and a half old. There's a great website. You can check how old a website is. So, like, hey, if you ever want to shop, let me give you some anti scam tools. This is what I'm known for because I help a lot of 50, 60 year old people deal with technology. My dad just turned 74. I am tech support. Let me give you some insight over here on YouTube. You can check the site. So if you're going to shop on a site and you're like, mm, this just seems too good. You should check and see how old it is. There's a great Reddit thread that is less dramatic called scams where they bust really common internet scams. I really think you all should join. Especially if you're older and vulnerable to people like this. You need to stop. You are making me just want to go cuddle my cat. I don't even deal with this woman. Um, things over there touching and comfy. I can see him. He's very cute. Dreaming. <laughs> Poor thing. Hey, buddy. His little feet are... Not little feet. He's got big feet. Um, but yes, if the, if if that website is not old, do not shop there because that is a scam. Okay? Check you missed the fact, Kimmy, that Trainhorn has a public defender and scammed her entire crew with her lawyer story. She does not have a private retained attorney. She has a second public defender into her. She never retained anybody. So that lawyer that she's told you that she could call, that lawyer who's in control of her freaking accounts, her lawyer doesn't exist. So anybody who wants their money back, the numbers to call the public defender's office and verify that she is a client. And then the sheriff department number for the sergeant who is dealing with the mountains of evidence. She had court today. They had to postpone that because of the new charges. Of the city. And yeah, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Bandera County is just really slow and behind on paperwork. I hope this case makes them speed that process up. Thank you, Nan. Remember, everything's for Lala tonight for what Missy did to her. The undercutter. She went and threw all of her freaking lower ranking people underneath of her. Thank you, Nan. Um, huge gifts to uh, screw Lala out of the ranks because that's what a shitty human she is. Her and Tara are just like two pieces of the fucking pod, man. Done. That's why I got angry. There was a lot going on that I had to wait. You all live in the now, 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 and Gen X lived. 
in the kind of great TV channels, the UHF and VHF, and we were control. And when we had to wait like a full week for another episode of like our favorite cartoon. Because I am the one who helped the victim bring charges. I am the one that gathered all of the evidence. I am the one that helped do all of this. Me. 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 I. And they're really appreciative of me helping with that evidence because there's so much of it that mine is so neatly organized. It's a lot easier to go. You're welcome. Because she talks to freaking veteran. I run a veteran platform, Journey of a Combat Veteran Spouse. You are free to take your ass over to my Facebook page and go find the 11,000 people that were put on that, and I was able to get three and a half million views on my actual content. That's not how many I reach. It's eight million multiple times. Not many times. So this pissed me off. This little girl drama and all the lies that she has painted out here. Then I found out the financial incentive. And you, like tormented a veteran and then I found out how much deeper it went so then I started digging deeper because I am OCD and let's go uh, over here to see what um little miss uh friends of Allie and um train and Miranda all did today remember my live yesterday about my ADHD and ADHD rage and then we're going to go over that because I'm going to educate you some more because that's what I am known for that's what I built my reputation on freaking Real shit. Saving lives and educating during a pandemic. Trust. People trust me. They trusted her to tell the freaking truth about where the money was going. Hey, Pops, I'm live. Watch your step. And yes, my Pops is well aware of everything that's going on. And he's, who do you think taught me how to be such a smart cookie? Okay, so <clears throat> let me uh so this is uh used to be dirty motherfucking or a dirty fucking redhead. Apparently it's that motherfucking redhead now because she's all mad at dirty. So dirty is for you, baby girl. I am so, disorder who would have thought an ADHD rage and executive who would have thought an ADHD rage and executive dysfunction it's a thing look it up because I have obsessive compulsive Hey y'all, y'all know that one creator that likes to step away from people um, and can do it quietly, behind the scenes, 
Yeah, listen to this. I understand. I understand. There's just nothing left for me to say, honestly, to them, Nikki. And that's just how I feel. I don't know. Sorry, I was trying not to reverb when I was doing the videos. I'll turn it back on. Most people are watching both places anyway. Yes, stop. That's what I didn't want to happen. I wanted you guys to be able to hear the video. So it's either one or the other. Um, these people, Nick, what are you doing? You're not right. And you just literally stuck up for a creator who is now busted. Yeah, y'all better start tapping. Um, you're sticking up for a creator who just defrauded everybody and lied to you from pretty much the beginning of her platform. A small amount of truth turned into this big fantasy world that she built for herself. Let me show you what the 14 year old did. You have to just watch over here because I don't feel like pulling it back and forth. So, this is her daughter's best friend. Here's what I'll do I'm going to share it on. I'm going to share it on StreamYard first and then I'll turn it for you guys and I'll mute my mic here. So it doesn't reverberate. I know, Erica, I'm sorry. I had to turn my mic off because of when I go back and forth with the camera. It's going through the system. If I had it separate, like a separate mic, like they do with the ASMR, I could mute that easier. It's just, it's, I'm trying to work and do all this. So it's like, I'm doing the work of four people. It drives me crazy. Um, Sorry, guys. I'm just exhausted. Like, I, this is freaking just exhausting. Let me share this video here. I'm going to share it with you guys first on YouTube and Facebook, and then I'm going to mute my mic again and remember to turn it back on next time. But then I'm going to replay the video for them for just like 15 seconds because it's a really short video. But this little girl, Maya, is Trainhorn's daughter's best friend who, in another one of a train's videos is in the comments saying, I look up to you train. So this is the influence that she's had to come bully me. You don't say you prove me right again. Sorry, I'm over here jamming in my Motown. Trying to woosah through this shit. Okay. Let Impressive me know if you guys on YouTube can hear this. Compulsive disorder. On Facebook. Who would have thought? An ADHD rage and executive dysfunction. Cute, huh? It's a thing. Look it up. Because I have obsessive. Because I have obsessive compulsive right. disorder. I'm going to stop sharing that. Oh, I didn't have to turn it off. Were you guys able to hear that? Because I'm going to play it again. You 
turn the volume back on. Let me, uh, let me flip it to the camera. somebody's disability because we're going to learn about what ADHD rage is because if you type that into TikTok you're going to we're going to have some education because you know how I wound up getting diagnosed with mine was when I finally saw an adult creator describe his symptoms as an adult instead of a child that I suffered with my entire life which is why I'm so OCD great I'm glad you're bringing people over to see that, A, I'm not a racist, that Tara's a complete scammy fraud. Your creators are lying to you. They're creating this drama for you. And then they're taking your money and you're supporting it. And they're lying to you. And they're laughing behind the scenes and then going and doing evil shit like Missy did today. Like to Lala. So remember, all your gifts to go to Lala. All of them. Bye, Felicia. Get rid of her. Perfect fucking name. Probably because Trainhorn has a public defender and she lied to you and scammed $5,000 off the fucking people on the internet. Maybe that's why. Maybe because I had to come in here and play mom to a bunch of grown ass women on the internet who are scamming money. These are felonies and federal offenses now. Yeah, the feds are involved. The bank isn't going to put up with the chargebacks. They're going to come after you. That's what's taking so long. So all of your little antics on the internet now make a lot of sense. You're trying to make me look bad. So when I brought the truth out to everybody, they wouldn't believe me. That didn't work out so well for you, did it? Because you know what it did? It brought me more people. And the ones that stand by you now are exactly the ones that I don't want around. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you. Because your piece is a shit too. And we all know it now. You stand on that. You go stand over there. Stand in the place where you live. Think about the direction and wonder why you have it now. Stand. And that's, that's right. Yeah. They get it. You don't get to scam $5,000 on the internet and lie about it. It didn't go to a lawyer. It didn't go to any lawyer. It went in her phone. And it probably went to pick Matt Garrett for her bail money. So now she's over there telling you that I'm impacting her business by doing this? Yeah. No, she lied. I'm bringing you the truth. That's not impacting. Maybe if she would stop lying, I would have to quit coming out here. Thank you, Nikki. I... I could quit coming out here and wasting my damn time. It took somebody that already had a platform, already had a reputation of honesty and integrity. I'm like, you guys, I don't bully people. No, quite the opposite. You can go do any research. You have dug through nothing on my profiles and found anything that has stuck to you. Know, Catch Kelly's wife would like to hear from you. Oh, yes, she would. Yeah. She said, I wish a motherfucker would. As a matter of fact, you go right ahead, Reese Baders. That didn't work out too well either. Go pick on somebody with a million followers. Okay. So now, like, I can go to other big followers on TikTok with Cash's wife, and we can get more together. So what you have done now is effectively probably built a three to four million people army. <laughs> Way to go. Because I have a way of bringing people together across all age groups. I don't care what you little trolls say on Facebook, little freaking ticky talk. No, because what I did.
what I did was I just brought a bunch of veterans together to protect a bunch of children online and adults. And now they have a purpose again because they're getting real sick and tired of what they're looking at this country getting turned into. So I don't really care. Shana. Oh, that's one of, oh, she says that's one of Dirty's supporters. Well, that was not confirmed as Dirty's. And even if it is, we need to have a talk with that 14-year-old little girl. Doesn't matter if they're internet friends or not. Kids are being assholes because of adult behavior on the internet. That's the point. So whoever's child that is, fix it. Fix it. Fix it. I don't give a shit whose child it is. Whoever they're modeling, fix it. But Miranda, that little girl, um, your name was attached to her, by the way, to do some bullying also. So I would be careful with how you approach that about Dirty, okay? Because she's actually a Miranda supporter. And it's Miranda stirring all that up with that little girl bullying and making fun of me with Tara. So I'm sure she is kind of mutual friends with Allie at this point, if they're all working together. So you can sit there and make all these cute little comments you want. A 14 year old is not going to break me. <laughs> I was doing this shit when I was 14. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, honey. Remember everything's going to Lala tonight. I'm, I'm giving it all back to that beautiful woman for putting up with all the shit that she has. I'm proud of her. You know, you have cuteness running around. Now, this girl. I'm not sure whether to show, like, it's me, Jen, wanting to sit camping out in Alaska waiting for me. Like, all of my Alaska friends are like, dumb ways to die. I'm like, yeah, right? Somebody needs to visit Alaska and rethink that. Just maybe Google Earth. Just Google is your friend today. It is. Thank you, Kimmy. Thank you, guys. Nikki, I wouldn't even walk into that mess because Mamik's got some problems, too. And she is part of the fucking problem, and they're trying to rope you into it, baby. Stay right out of it. Stay right out of it. The answer there is no. I want no further part of any of that mess. That's a hot mess, and you need to run from that. I'm telling you, from the beginning, you're fucking redhead. Brittany just up and disappeared when she got called out. Do you notice that? Her account's gone. But you still got three people out there. Those are ones you should probably avoid. Just saying. Because I'm going to tell you right now, with the feds involved with fraud, um, IP addresses and all those important things will be important again. Um, and you can't hide all of the digital trade. You, you, you should just not make any further contact with these individuals who are involved in any of this bullshit. Because this is bad. This is really bad. They are deeply, deeply, deeply investigating things and it's getting ready to go deeper. Nikki, you are free to do as you choose, but you know my answer to that, baby. I told you that they were going to be melting down the internet. Thank you. Thank you, Maureen. Yeah, they're sending people over here back and forth because they're freaking the fuck out, man. They are freaking the fuck out. Because they're like, what else is she getting ready to show on this freaking screen to make us look like shitbag human beings? Yeah, there's that part. Oh, 
Let's check out Trainhorn's Ungrateful Ass Daughter. I'm going to share it on YouTube first. Thank you, Blue Eyed Native. So they were doing a battle last night. Thank you, honey. Thank you so much. Happy Easter, you guys. Happy early Easter, too. You guys are awesome. Angie, you can... You can quit. Nikki sees it by now. And if she wants to, she will. You can exit my comments. Mute anybody else who comes in here begging for Nikki. No read. She don't need that shit. Um, they were doing a battle with Missy last night. Okay. And if you look at this child, she looks like maybe Marilyn Manson. And she gets mad at the end because somebody sniped the nuggies. I am trying to be quiet, but I'm streaming. I do have to use a voice. I'm trying to keep it down. I'm going to direct you over to YouTube. Pay attention. Uh, let's see. Here we go. I think it's this one. Come on, Google. Hang on. Play, damn it. I may have to download it. Hang on. Let me download it. Um, so at the end... Mrs. Team throws a line. Oh, it pisses Allie off. She gets up, storms off, and goes, I'm just disgusted with you all. Train's sitting there like, hee, 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 hee. Like, embarrassed. Her entitled ass daughter did that. Yeah. It's a battle. It's supposed to be for fun, right? This is why 14 year olds don't belong on TikTok after dark during school hours or any other time for that matter. Because we can't regulate our emotions and then we come up in an adult live and try to do adult things. Sit down. This is not your safe place. That's not a good example at all, young lady. Oh, that's why it wouldn't play. It's the fucking screenshot. Jesus Christ. Where is the video? Listen. Listen, Linda. Right here. There's too many different brands of technology. I am on zero sleep. I am, I am making no life or death decisions for anybody in this condition. Okay, now we go. All okay. right, Jana Marie, I'm gonna reset after this and I'm gonna put this ink in and I'm gonna, we're gonna come back. Missy's gonna have her live and I'm gonna have my t-shirt live. So y'all wanna get messy. Out. Go get that, messy yeah. with Missy. <laughs> oh, you got it. You got it for sure. What'd you get? Oh, Missy with the Leon. Oh. Nice. Y'all are picking that Misty up. I really appreciate you, baby. Thank you, Leanne, yes. Miss Marie, Dina, everybody tapping. Y'all are amazing. Thank you, Misty. David, Neely, I I see you, see me. You Don't see let her me? pick my noogie. I see you. Both of us sitting here looking like two big barnies. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, 
All right, Jana Marie, I'm going to reset after this, and I'm going to put this ink in, and we're going to come back. Missy is going to have her live, and I'm going to have my T-shirt live. So y'all want to get messy? Hang out. Go get messy with Missy. <laughs> oh, you got it. You got it for sure. What'd you get? Ooh, Missy with the Leon. Oh, nice. Thank you. Wow. She took our lion like that. That was nice. Don't disrespect me. That was the okay. Leon. Okay. Thank okay. you, Missy. Okay. Guys, make sure y'all are picking that Misty up. I really appreciate you, baby. Thank you, Leanne, yes. Miss Marie, Dina, everybody tapping. Y'all are amazing. Thank you, Misty. David, Neely, I see you guys tapping. Queen Miranda, Auntie, Precious, I see you guys. Thank y'all so much. Uh, I'm going to go reset. I think and, I'm going to uh, do a quick reset, too. And uh, I'll be back in a little bit pushing out these orders, y'all. Don't forget, link is in the bio, and so is my cash app. Thanks for the battles, Missy. I love you. Yep. Love your face. Bye.
Fuck. I got it back. I'm sorry. I'm on TikTok too. This is all TikTok freaking drama. I'm done with this bullshit after today on TikTok because we're getting to work over here. There's veterans like lining up at the door, like, what can we do to help? So I'm going to organize all that strategically with other large creators. And this is, these people are nothing. Yeah, the social media is on Tara's website. Yeah, they were on hers. That was Train Horns Live. Yeah. So if mom doesn't want her on social media with adults, maybe she shouldn't be there. Huh? Thank you, just, just one of the Gilmore girls. Thank you, honey. <clears throat> yep, when children are starting, because there are cyberbullying laws, guys, especially in the state of Texas, you can go to all the other videos I have done to educate, which have gotten no views because none of you do your fucking research. <laughs> Proved my point, didn't I? Again, maybe you should go like through my entire profile and that of cherry picking things. Oh well, no, you're nothing if you support this shit. If you support her scamming people and making excuses because it's a felony. Thank you, just one of the Gilmore girls. Thank you, honey. Um, if you support her scamming, it is against the law to raise money and just do whatever you want with it fraudulently. I'm sorry, that's that's against the law. And the victim had to like prosecute to get charges they don't just like magically happen unless you file a complaint the victim needed help organizing all that and i am specializing that shit yeah i do you see what i did in my divorce trust me next to nothing so i don't give a fuck what tiktok thinks because i deal with facts and the fact is you can call bandera because i'm done doing your fucking work you all tore me down when I came out and told you she was arrested. I was a liar. I was a liar about everything, wasn't I? Well, you know what? Do your own fucking research. You go record. You can get up there. Because I'm going to go get back to what I was really doing with uniting people on the, on the, like, across all races and, and everything for one common cause. And I, yeah. Yeah, I told you I was going to make examples out of y'all. You just gave me more material. Every time I told you to quit doing it, you just gave me more. Out there running your fucking mouth. You can't. You can't shut up. They, they can't shut up. I wish you could see the comments over here on TikTok. I wish you could. It's insane. These grown-ass women, that 14, 16-year-old kids, Bullying. Like, you should see the comments. Oh, there are people pissed right now. Thank you, Kimmy. My ex-husband doesn't have a restraining order on me. I suggest you go back and look. How about we go back over that case again? He has a permanent injunction against him, too. I'm going to take you to that, okay? Actually, pretty sure I have it in my email. Final divorce papers. Let me go get them, okay? Because he can't talk about me. And if you get to the Zoom meeting, like you can go to the other. 2019 DCM2388 was my divorce case number. We went over this on the YouTube live the other night. You're fucking a day late and a dollar short. If you go over to my YouTube channel, go under the live videos from the other night. I went over this. So he got on, you know, and actually you guys had the TikTok taken down for bullying when I showed what they were doing to me in El Paso in a Dr. Navoa. So when you look up Dr. Navoa, it's really funny that somebody thinks I was in a place pumping a mucus goober in an area I wasn't even viral in at the time. Like their facts were not research-based. <laughs> and it it made them look really stupid because – um. I shared that information on my Facebook page about this doctor and come to find out if you look up that doctor's medical license on the Texas Medical Board, he was um, found guilty and had his license like 
stricken because he was performing breast augmentations and plastic surgery on his staff in his office with no chart, which is a huge problem. So then my ex-husband decided to get on Facebook and start telling people that I was like in his little PTSD flares. And then he would get embarrassed and take it down when I call him out on it. But he it, like the screenshots went to my lawyer. Um, but they're all in the email. And so the only thing I agreed to was to not mention his daughter and his minor children's name in my book or his first name. But everything else that's up on the internet is okay with the judge. So you better make sure you got your facts right, bitch. The original restraining order, it's crashed off on the family violence because they found my ex to be lying, the judge. And CPS all found no findings of abuse. So again, you look like a fucking fool. Oops. Because this is all really public information that I have shared if you would have done any research on my piece, like my YouTube platform, my Facebook page. It's all there. It's all there. It's all there. What you don't know is that he caused one ex-wife to go completely insane and she filled the house and took the drains and turned the water on and ran down base naked on a military base. And then the next one became a lesbian. The children's mother tried to unalive herself numerous times and it was draining her blood. She was a wonderful pediatric ICU nurse. Thank you, just one of the Gilmore girls. And then there was me who tried to jump out of a car at 70. Um, I think the problem is the man who made it. But fucking cry. Let's do your research. So that's the story. Where are you? So there's an injunction against me from obviously I'm not going to go chase down a command sergeant major in the military with multiple fucking weapons. Do I look stupid? I'm trying to like never see that man again, but I'll still help him because I love him and wish him nothing but the best because the military destroyed a fucking amazing human being. Um. I have no reason to write, communicate, or do anything with my ex-husband, nor do I want to. Um, obviously, I can't post any confidential medical information, which would be a HIPAA violation, which that would be part of the patient part. I don't, will never have. Everything I have posted has been personal journals that does not get included in that. Um, Posting any private confidential information about his children online. Absolutely would I not. Definitely not going to do that. Definitely not to a traumatized fucking child who is harming himself since the age of 10 with a razor. No, I'm not going to do that. But I will tell her story and be her voice because she cried in my lap day that all this shit happened, blaming herself for her dad's behavior. But there's a lot of things you don't fucking know, you little psychos. And I am not going to put, this is what I wanted to be careful of because I'm not going to get scooped up with this because my stepdaughter's name is listed in our final divorce decree and I am not going to put her name online. And if any of you bully her, you're still the fucking individual. And Michael cannot permanently enjoin from causing physical contact the exact same things that there's an injunction against me for. He has the exact same thing. So you make sure that you do your research because you did not. 
There's a permanent restraining order against him, too. From causing physical contact or bodily injury to Mr. B. Huffman or threatening me with imminent bodily injury. Communicating in person by telephone or in writing with Mr. D. Huffman. Posting online any confidential or medical information regarding Mr. D. Huffman. Didn't I just read the same thing in the bottom paragraph? Yeah, I did, because it's mutual. The court finds that because of, let's see here. Yeah. And that was just because I had agreed not to post his daughter's name. And I will not do that ever, even when she's a legal adult, because that little girl has been through fucking hell, which is why I advocate for children, because if it wasn't for me, her psychiatrist would have never known that her father quit giving her her medication and she like took it again and overdosed because you can't leave a child on and off that type of psychiatric medication. Yeah, Michelle, go ahead and message me either privately through the Facebook page or fucking TikTok or whatever. Like just whatever, because after tonight I'm done. I'm going, I'm going zero dark thirty on this, because we're gonna get some work done. Um, yeah, she's got her daughter on here right now. Do you think that her daughter just needed to hear the story of my stepdaughter's trauma and self harming? Probably not. That's why my comments are set to eighteen and up. You should not be in here. But Tara has to know she's that arrogant about what is who is being spoken. Who's talking about her? I mean, my daughter is a grown ass woman with a fucking mortgage. And my son has lived with his father since he was five because you know what I did? I moved to Texas with a veteran with severe PTSD. And my son lives in Michigan. Do you know how many squirrels there are to hunt and fish there are to catch in the desert? You know what my son does? So, like, his father's my best friend since I was 14. We're good friends. His father and I are great friends, like really good friends. We mutually agreed that, you know, he should be like probably remain with his very happy to finally have a son, father, first grandkid in the family. All of his grandparents are up here. I don't sit still. I'm a nomad. I went into respiratory to travel. So by all means, my son lives with his dad. Yes, he does. Seems logical to me. I don't hunt. I do fish, but usually on ice. So I'm supposed to like make my son suffer to make you happy? Is is that what I'm supposed to do? I'll let him know. I'll be sure to video his response to you. Because it's probably a look just like mine, like, bitch, what the f Yeah. I will it. I don't think my kid gives a shit what you think on TikTok. Will you go ahead and call DCS on a grown ass woman? Are you, are you, are, are you going to call adult CPS on her? Is that how that's supposed to work? Is, is that how it works? I'm curious. I live with my dad. My daddy raised me. My mother's like, my dad. He'll tell you. She's got my stepdad locked up in the house with dementia now. Buying a heart failure. Yeah, we won't claim her. So no, all these little trolls that come over in here, they have gotten no information. I mean, they literally picked a little bit out of what I freaking have shared in my personal story because sharing my trauma with my ex-husband, I don't know if you know what wait this like waking up one day and never having discussed divorce and your ex-husband at the time just gets up and goes and files and you never speak again. It was great. It was a great thing. And then to never have an answer other than trying to piece together through security camera footage, all of my texts. Yeah, that's why there's a book coming. Yeah, like I'm not going to get bogged down with this bullshit. I'm going back to what I was doing with uniting people, educating with trauma. My veteran page is Journey of a Combat Veteran Spouse. And then the medical page is RT as what <laughs> um during the pandemic i went viral with a video after i've already gotten all the like the whole platform on the veteran end so it kind of got merged with the trauma and recognized the similarities and the behaviors in people and i tied people together that way and now this and this is a bigger social problem like this is addiction guys this is like what gambling 
I mean, you have to remember that addicts will make any kind of excuse to get their fix, right? So replace that drug that you envision or that alcohol that you envision with this phone. You wonder why I keep talking about the social dilemma so hard. This is why, guys. This is why. The social dilemma. Hey, Justin. The social dilemma is exactly what we are living in. This is what I was trying to bring to your attention to pull everybody together to understand what's really going on here. Kara has an addiction. This is severe. If you are willing to commit fucking felonies, like I don't even know if she has a heart at this point because she just continues to lie, bully, and harass and embarrass people. She never apologized to any baby. Nobody. Never. Never. She still stands on it. But you know what? She pulled up cash app receipts for a bunch of other shit on her freaking videos the other day. But she couldn't find those two cash app receipts to verify the transfer. You literally set that girl up and you didn't think that she was going to like come with everything. Ellie, you're, you are just lazy. You have to watch the social dilemma, guys. After dealing with this freaking entire insane story, I want you to go watch this movie. Please, please go watch this movie. Please. Hopefully sometime this weekend, I like next week we're getting back to cash, streetlights and everything else. And I am seriously not bringing this shit to TikTok. Not right now. I'm going to be on YouTube. I'm going to be on Facebook. I'm going to be on other platforms that are way more productive than this one. Um, holy shit. Like, this is insane. Um, I never in my life expected this kind of crap from grown ass people on like, I finally got back on the right side of my algorithms the other day. That's why I don't like people sending me videos. I don't click on them. I usually have you send them to me and I'll download them because I don't want to give it a view. Thank you. Thank you. Um, this is one of the Gilmore girls. Thank you, honey. Thank you for sharing too. Yeah. None of them have taken any accountability. And I'm sure since we've been in here, they're all just running their freaking faces over there trying to cover their asses for all this shit that I'm dumping out here. Because I'm not even done. I don't want to keep doing this. I don't. But fucking, it's all obvious by now. We have It's Me, Jen, or somebody. I don't even fucking know who these people are. I need a war room. Because I'm not kidding. The bubble that I have to draw for brainstorming and branching off is ridiculous. I have to draw a roadmap now for people who have no idea who half these people are. Thank you, Blue Eye Native. Thank you. Um, yeah, they just bullied Nikki over there, who does not need the stress. Doesn't need the fucking stress at all. Because now they're trying to kiss ass. We branded up fucking bastard. I said it, what I said, what I said. And I'm not going to share all the fucking Miranda screenshots. I'm about disgusted. She's the one who was speaking on Trainhorn's daughter, actually. And then Trainhorn come and harassed it, somebody else instead. And I'm looking at the receipts going, um, you didn't say a fucking word. Miranda just spoke a whole bunch of shit. Uh, that that was not you. And then um, somebody else, you know, it's true. One doesn't know who our team is. I called bullshit on that one. I think you all know that she has made more than enough fucking, you know, like I said, the whack-a-mole shirt's suddenly gone. He doesn't know what we're talking about when you fucking uh, when you uh, fucking bring it up. I find that funny. Oh shit! Ah, uh, dirty. Anybody's got the uh, screenshots from the live when a uh, redhead little rat that was in here was dropping Nikki's name. Could you send them my way, please? It would help out for me having to like, go back to my live recording. 
Uh, train horn the other night, two nights ago, was she raised two hundred and twenty nine dollars. Um, selling whack a mole shirts because if you look at the bottom of uh, uh video there, whack a doodle, they they literally call me crazy because of the ADHD. They made a sound, uh, ADHD raid. That's that's nice. So you're peeping on a disability. You bullies. I mean, that's what bullies do. They pick on people with disabilities, don't they? That's usually like the autism. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you. That's literally what they do. I can't. It's not. I tried. It doesn't give me the options for pigs. I wanted to do something for Easter. The only Eastery thing I get is April 1st. I wanted to do the live stream for eggs. I don't know if I can change it. Um, it's, there's like no, there's no option to change for eggs. That's what made me mad. I have, I have, and I'll, I'll, I will read you off the options. Rose, hand hearts, donut, finger hearts, superpower, lightning bolt, fire. I got a rabbity. Okay, there's, oh, there it is. Now they're up there. I guess I'd have to do it when I go live. I wonder if that's what it is. Because I tried to set it like before I go live and it doesn't pop up with any of that. I'm learning something new with Tiki Talk every time. Um, oh my God. Thank you guys. See, you walk me through the stupid stuff. Um, hang on. If I talk and try to type, things do not come out right. It's that AGHD executive dysfunction. Maybe type that into TikTok and do a little bit of research. Since you can't get off the app to do it, just type it into the search bar. See, I already did it. Started off with the word stick. Chick. Oh my God. <laughs> thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Sperry, Blue Eyed, Native American. You guys are freaking rock. Yes. Train involved everybody else. You guys are freaking awesome. Oh yeah. You bet I'm being discussed. You bet I'm being discussed. People are wanting fucking receipt for the whole ass and want me now. They're wanting them now. Thank you, guys. You are freaking awesome. It's gold going back to Lala, man. We're going to hype her up tonight. We're going to hype her up tonight. We're going to throw freaking... We're going to move her diamonds back up to what Missy did to her today. You guys are freaking awesome. Sperry, oh, my God. You guys are watching. Just watch the new social media threat. But South Carolina schools on alert. See, this is not a joke. You guys are awesome. You freaking rock. You rock. You rock. Hey, hello, Katie. I'm going to go up. Yep, hang on. Since I figured this out now. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Hang on, my fat fingers. Usually gets me in trouble. Just there we go. Okay, you guys are fucking nuts. Awesome. Like, thank you. It's called the social dilemma. Social dilemma, and we are living it, guys. I would not have been making this strong of a point, speaking on children and pointing out behaviors because it's literally the point I'm trying to make. Oh, 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 oh.
Naughty, naughty. Start liking that live, guys. Like the live. Start tapping. Tap, 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 I'm learning the game. This is what happens when you tell the truth. Leaders don't like it, do they? Leaders going to hate. Everybody come back. You guys are freaking awesome. Hey, guys. Sorry, I had to end the live because the house was going red. We were reporting the shit, so this like tap, 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 tap the crap out of this. Build it up. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. No, we don't want children involved, but when it comes to the social dilemma, honey, if this is what it's all about. If you watch the Netflix movie, that's what we were talking about before I had to end it, is that it's literally about how it's affecting our children. Literally because it's coming out in their behavior. Your parents and what they're teaching them. Like literally, we are living it, and that's the whole fucking point. That, that movie was made to protect our children and to talk to our children about the dilemma. And I'm sorry, but it's, it's a necessary evil. Don't have the child exhibit the behaviors that the movie represents. I, I don't know what else to tell you. If it was my kid, I would expect it. This is literally to protect the kids. Unless the veterans wouldn't be involved. She did this to herself with her choice. You literally scammed people. Thank you, AJ. Thank you, honey. Um, she came out here, harassed and doxed a veteran, got other people involved. The only reason you all got pulled together was because I came out here and broke the story for you and threw it all the way for everybody. Well, it, she admitted on a phone call that if she, I would not have come out and done this, would she still be doing this? And she said yes. And she still is. She made $229 selling those whack and mole strips about me the other day. That she did. And then all of a sudden they're off her website and then she doesn't know who RT and Misty is. Really? I think we all know that's a pile of shit. She literally went on and was raising money for those shirts because I was impacting her income, remember? That's the lie she told you, right? That's what I... I'm done. They called cops all sorts of shit. Yeah, this is ridiculous. And they can call the cops all they want. I do the cops yeah, it's all public information. We're not doing shit. It's a public defender. The public is entitled to the information. It's news. Just because the news media isn't covering it doesn't mean that modern day journalists, because the media doesn't cover things, it doesn't interest them anymore. It doesn't mean that private citizens can bring the news. She's desperate to not. Yeah, people. Yep, whack a mole. I'm whack a mole. Like the game at tripping. Mm -hmm. They made a freaking sound on the TikTok. Go look up another fucking redhead. Yeah, another third. And that MFKN redhead. Look her up. That used to be dirty fucking redhead. You'll recognize her. Miranda's little buddy. Oh, um, the house went red. My connection, I was getting reported, so I ended it before they crashed my live. So just go ahead and power tap, people. If you're not throwing gifts, please just help out with the gifters and power tap for me. I'm over here tapping, too. So if the table's shaking, that is me. I'm definitely not tapping the leaders. I'm literally tapping on my face. Before Missy comes over here, starting with me again. 
Yep, just power tap, power tap, power tap. Thank you, Shawnee. Thank you, honey. But it did bring the gold back, so your eggs were there. Thank you, honey. I'm going to go back and throw them all at Lala. I'm going to egg her. <laughs> <coughs> we're going to build her ass back up. We're going to build her up because that was just mean. That was mean to do. I try to build other women up. I don't try to throw them down. I can't believe that the train horn, when I found this out today, for sure. Thank you, Subzico. I like that name. Um, it's fun to say. When I found out today, I'm, I'm going to tell you what, I have a full mailbox right now of people wanting to know about all of that. There's not a lot of ask for them to do so. You don't treat people like this. She's done this to people in her own community. Yeah, and I don't mind you guys bouncing in and out. It's just be respectful because that's how I expect you to do your own research. I, I expect you to go listen to her bullshit and listen to the lies and then come back and go, okay, let's see what comes up with RT. Because like I said, court paperwork is going to take a little time. Um, Bandera County is, like I said, paper charting versus paper charting and medical. Um, it's like archaic. You might as well get the ditto maker out. So I'm going to be going back to Texas and I'm going to get all these receipts because but I'm going to sleep and work in the meantime. <laughs> and for the different doing other things that are actually going to benefit other people in every state who's been affected. And like I said, this is going to the feds because this is across state lines. It's very fraud. They're there's a reason that they haven't. She wants to come out here and try to get in front of everything and get your money. Like, she, did you not just hear her? She was raising money for an iPad. Thank you, Jalen. She just needed six hundred dollars for an iPad. What about the five thousand dollars you just fucking raised? Why couldn't she get an iPad with that? Since you didn't get a lawyer, she certainly didn't buy a shirt for her like dirty either. Where would that five grand go? Back to Garrett. Is he letting you live on his property now? <laughs> In your trailer by your barber shop that doesn't get any business? Because you literally are a shit human in your own community? Oh, no. Don! Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> he got his final win before he left. I knew it. I didn't want to say anything. I knew it. Her old man kitty passed away. The victim. And he was my buddy. <laughs> He wasn't looking good when I was there, but he started to come around and start eating again. In healthcare, when humans do this at the end of life, the family thinks that we're just uh, trying to uh, not save people, and that's not it. Fucking this is coming out my ass. I can maybe keep up. Um, but when humans do, like when animals do it, it's 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 never good. They're planning on checking out. And he probably did. He was an old guy. He had a great life. Miranda recorded your live. See, this is Miranda's shit right here. Keep tapping, guys. Miranda. Miranda recorded your live and speaking about Train's daughter, and they are planning on posting it. This is Miranda over in her boxes right now. 
Miranda is the problem. And I'm going to read you what Miranda said about trains. I have so many. I literally don't even give a fuck about this little brat. She's doing a piece of shit in my way since the day one. I tried to try to warn everybody. Um, Like, I have too many platforms. I wish that Facebook could put them all into one. This is ridiculous, guys. But she literally spoke God's text. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, like, Miranda, you just need to fucking stop. There's this, my inbox is filling up with Miranda's bullshit. Like, literally. It's filling up over Miranda. This girl needs to stop. Girl, you're doing too much. You are messy. You are sloppy. This is messy time. I'm not cleaning up anymore. You are in. Yes, the healthcare. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Because I'm tired. Like, after all we have been through in healthcare, this woman must have forgotten about the video that I shared the other day. So, for all of you who need a like, little walkthrough, you can go back on my YouTube live. I was watching her live at the same time, and uh, I asked her to get off her ass and go outside with her phone at that moment. And I'm still asking her, everybody, go ask Tara, where's your attorney's name and number? Because we have no problem giving that out. She's, she's kept it from you because she didn't get one. That's the truth. Um, and then ask her to take her phone outside and just do a complete tour live because what she did a half hour later after I like, got off a video it was a five second and the opening and closing outside of her RV. That's not a trailer park bitch. You know, it's probably in text on that fucking phone and I'm not digging for it. It's not worth it. It's just not. The people who need to see them will see them. Honestly, I'm just fucking tired of it. Yeah, see, I bring a lot of people together on my platforms. On my Facebook pages, I have brought people together across the country. Um, all sorts of shit. Um, all sorts of things. And... <laughs> that's awesome. Um... She flat out, very fucking red, red, lied about what she said in my comments over here. I'll get them screen recordings for you. Definitely. Definitely. I'm tired, guys. Like, I was traumatized the fuck out of during the pandemic, and now you're going to make fun of me? Like, ADHD rage and executive dysfunction is a real thing. And if I had more energy, but like I'm at the downward cycle of uh, I don't have any gas left. I'm gonna have to sleep for 12 hours, and I had to like clean chimneys with my daddy today. So I like I'm I'm not gonna come to a shit box and be told I'm a coward and all of these other things. You guys are awesome. If it wasn't for your support and your belief in what we're doing, I wouldn't be out here doing this stuff. You know what I mean? Um, but I'm doing it for you because you all of these. It's not fair. Let me go turn on another light. 
it, it looks like crap on my screen, but when I look back on it, on the video, it's fine, but it just drives me crazy that there's shit moving. My dad's got like a nuclear technology in the computer, so just give me a second. I like to bring people together who don't usually have things in common that can make these friends outside of their usual zone. This little girl drama here is going to stop. Um, it is going. It, it is going up far. Um, I'm not going to get into significant detail about what we're doing with that anymore on the ticker talk. So locals.com, message me through Facebook and I can give you like my YouTube video, no, my TikTok videos on it, on how to download it, message me, I'll give you the coupon code. Like the live, guys. Sometimes I can't tell if it's the core service or... You guys are awesome with the gifts. Thank you so freaking much. Yeah, they're, they're going down. I don't know what the really fucking redhead and everybody else are over there trying to save their options. The freaking little train hoe just went down in flames. She is a complete 100% fraud. So none of your money went to her. Not a bit. It went through her fucking pocket and then she literally just came out here to make harassment whack a mole shirts about me. Disappeared him off her website, doesn't know who our team is. is. Bitch, you got multiple personalities. Is that what's going on? Like, we need to talk because you don't know who I am by now. Because you've got my name up in your mouth a million times on videos. There's receipts for days on that. You think playing dumb now? With multiple people have reached out to you today to ask you that question. It says on blood thinners. I live in Alaska. <laughs> Two degrees is a lot. Um, if you support that by now, then you deserve to be scammed. I, I just seriously, I don't, I don't know how else to help you. There is no help for you at that point. You deserve it. There is no supporting that. You don't get to keep money that you falsely raised together. Yeah, they need to leave Nelda alone. See, that's another person that they've been harassing because they've seen her in my comments and she's been trying to figure out. Her and I have had a good conversation. It hasn't been about them. I believe we've talked about her cats. Teresa, Nell's cats like to listen to me live too. Your cats need to meet. Um, and Teresa will know exactly what I'm talking about because her cats like to watch me live and they have since the whole pandemic. She used to send me pictures. Um, but you know, you have Nan trying to hunt down my mods because nobody wants the truth to come out. There's a whole lot of that. There's telling motherfuckers on this app, ain't there? I mean, that seems to be what's out here. And you wonder why Gen X is out here. You wonder why Gen X is out here. Because we're out here going to n no business. Not today. Thank you, honey. You don't want to ask anything. There's two different gens. Okay, this is the problem. I have realized there's like five people named Ashley, five Miranda, a couple, like way too many fucking like Angelas or Angels and all these things. And a lot of people are getting people mixed up. Yeah, 
So I would not even ask a damn thing about the gems because that's another situation. There's one gem that wants to go sit her big ass in fucking Alaska in the middle of nowhere and get eaten by a grizzly bear waiting for me. She will be free um, because there's nothing out there and there's nowhere for her to wait. <laughs> Google Neely and then just know that you're an outsider there and it's kind of like deliverance. They're waiting. Well, your town of 800, that coal mine built that town, and they, the coal miners ain't going to be too friendly with you. Do you have fun? Yeah. You don't even see that anymore. That's like not even fucking work. Both of them are pieces of shit. It's probably who sent you over here. She's digitally self harming herself big time. She's a whole special channel. She deserves a whole channel of her own, too, like the Terra show. Like that level of bullshit. Yeah. That's going to be handled with some, um, we have some screen recordings that are very concerning that possibly may warrant a cycle. So she wants to fuck around and find out with phone calls to DCS and harassment with people and making up bullying that she's doing herself. Just know that that's traceable. Have her forward me the text message so I can trace the IP and I'll trace it right back to her. And um, that Hotsonic 504 account is also cuteness. Um, yeah. Sharon Hopson in North Carolina on Facebook. Oh yeah, I was gonna look that up. Not to see me. Mm -hmm. This Like, I'm going to start charging for time. What the fuck is my Google password? This is just a Facebook here. Forgot password. And Facebook will send code via email. Thank you. didn't give me that option before. We usually don't have problems remembering long numbers. That's how I know I'm extremely freaking hard. New password. Well, that was inappropriate. <laughs> I'm going to pull my truck in the backyard later tonight. Okay. You want to cover it up? Well, we're going to look at the couch and do a video of the lights I got on. Okay. I'm still live. Um, I just... Hang yeah, on a second, folks. Dad, I'm on I'm on live dealing with stuff. And your TV is usually like 9 million like octaves higher than what my voice I love him. He's awesome. Dad going to bed. But um, this stuff has to stop, guys. We can't be doing these things. Because even my daughter is doing this kind of behavior. You know, I'm looking like a fool. Like, this is a generational problem. This is what we have normalized in this society. A bunch of entitled human beings. Who think that they're entitled to other people's stuff?
Oh, well, my daughter's a grown ass woman making hormonal decisions that need to not be based on emotional reaction. Same lesson here, guys, for everybody. It's right across the board. Everybody. We don't do those things. That's an emotional reaction. Yeah. So, what are the consequences of your actions? Huh? You can't like act like a flaming asshole. And then when somebody, because this is what my kid's doing. Like, I'm going to use my own kid as a perfect example. I'll talk about my kid. How does that sound? Okay. So you can run back and use it as a fucking sound again. All right. Because you're prepared. People literally follow me because I'm real and share real life problems and everybody can relate to me. Everybody across the board because we all have them. My dad's a chimney sweep. So he's always worn suspenders like that. He's even got a top hat. And I think he probably brought it in the house. He always wears a top hat. Too. He used to wear tails. Um, today was the Detroit High, the Detroit Tigers home opener. And when I was a kid, he used to go to Tiger Stadium dressed up as Santa Claus with his chimney sweep partner that he hired, you know, to work with him. And he would dress up in the top hat and tails and like Santa, and they would hand out flyers and stuff. Because he's had the business since I was a year old. He created it to support his family. Um, but yeah, guys, we really have to. I'm like taking more and more stuff down because, like, as the topic falls off, like, it's just old news. And nobody, nobody goes back and watches and catches up with the show, right? So I'm tired of looking at it on my fucking platform. I don't like this woman. If I never hear her voice again, it will be too soon. I don't honestly give a shit what anybody says from this point in time. I will be over on locals. I will be handing out free codes left and right. Get a hold of me through the platforms. I don't really want to be over here for a half minute. I need to go get some real work done in society. Thank you, guys. Please tap the screen. We got 107 people up in here, guys. And, you know, most of them don't mean no. I've taken a lot of stuff. In. A lot of stuff. Just because I'm tired of looking at it. It's not what my platform's about, and I get disgusted looking at it. Like, I'm disgusted with the videos that I see them create. Like, I'm not embarrassed by them. They're just disgusting. Like, they're disgusting by all human beings. That I would never associate with outside of this app. Ever. And I like as soon as Tara got into my energy field, she made me sick as soon as possible because I didn't lost the victim. I, I, don't, I don't like her, I don't want her to do my hair. Never mind. I don't want to I'm pretty good filter. So, I want you all, you know. Like people right now. Yes, everybody for locals. Locals.com, you can download it. Um, message me for instructions. I did do instructions on TikTok. They are pinned. They tried to report them for branded content. I had a bunch of videos reported for branded content. After my last live, that was kind of weird. That's how desperate we are. We're desperate for the truth of that thing down. If anybody goes over there and gets in their shit boxes, okay, I'm going to tell you something right now. Yep. Um, I am drained mentally. I am exhausted because my brain has been stretched. I have done the work of several investigators. Um, the reason that I don't let the law do their job is because they are doing their job. We have so much evidence that we've called on them that they have to break filter through. So I'm helping organize all that and streamline that process rather than not create more work because I specialize in process improvements. That's what we do in healthcare. And anybody will tell you that when somebody falls out of a bed or gets hurt, we have to go sit on process improvements. <laughs> There's so much fun. Well, Tara's on TikTok Live. 
asking you for six hundred dollars for an iPad after she just scammed you out of five thousand that you didn't go pay a lawyer for while you bullied me. You children. <laughs> Very fucking cute. But my best advice to you is if you are reacting to any of this after today, like everybody who went running to boxes, you need to tell them to get the fuck out of the box because this is going fed. You probably don't want to be involved in the wrong end of all. Tara's probably going to get attacked by it because of this. For the past few years that she's been on TikTok, I bet you, to make sure that all that money got reported. There's a lot of things that are going to happen. Those things take time. And I have plenty of patience because there's life that gets lived out here outside of TikTok. I'm going to go do those things and help other people in a mass quantity. Is what I'm going to do. And you can help me with that. I love it. It's what I do. And my uh, exhausted ADHD OCD ass is going to go to sleep tonight. I'm going to get with Lala. We'll hear about the gifts and let her know what we made. Figure out the best plan to sneak attack on the nuggies. Like, does she want me to hang on to it? What does she want me to do? I got you. What was the good to her today? Was she? That's just you. You don't go around to the people below her and try to boost them up because you don't like her. Missy was your fucking charity. And now, because of Missy, Lala will not donate to somebody who is not a 501 that they can do a tax write off with. And Missy fucked that up for everybody. That's her fault. She did that single handedly with her bullshit. Exactly. The ones who actually need the money get hate. Dude, that TNT outlaw and angels, whatever the hell that chewing cow is. Like, she literally pimped a girl out working at a strip club. Yeah. The fuck? Like, somebody, like, that's human trafficking? Nah. That's what that is. That's literally what you just aired. So if somebody, like, I wouldn't mind wrapping her up in all this, me too. Because wherever she smelt the car, I, I have to figure out what space she's in because I'm sure there's better in there too. Who you know. the rest of Child, I was sitting in the truck while she was, her mom was dancing up there. This is what goes on on TikTok. I'm going to end my YouTube stream so I can like.